from Rich Palladino. A running boot. Marcus Mathers is floored. Looking for a quick pin. Oh, Warhorse leveled Marcus Mathers. This is Warhorse's first and only match this weekend at rest of all. Marcus Mathers went to war with Ricky Shane Page to defend the ETU championship yesterday afternoon. The fence firmly behind Marcus Mathers. Dropkick sends. Warhorse crashing back down to the mat. Looking for that sunset flip. Warhorse couldn't hold on. Warhorse kicking out. And Warhorse just a second away from being the former Warhorse. And Warhorse just doing everything he can to maintain his career, including trying to mangle the young prodigy of Marcus Mathers. Bad landing from Marcus Mathers. He might be out on the floor. I don't know that Warhorse is going to want his career to live and die on a count out, but he could do some serious damage out there. And Marcus Mathers, shout out to him, one of the hardest workers in professional wrestling this year. Absolutely, that young prodigy is really living up to his nickname. The young prodigy, Marcus Mathers, he had the very first contest at the Rustable this year. And now, in, this, in, in one of the three main events here at Heavy Lies the Crown, you have to give respect to the young prodigy, but we also have to respect Warhorse. I hate to say it though, and I don't want to jinx Marcus Mathers, but I feel like his career in 2023 has been always coming up just short. That match that he had with Alec Price for the Independent Wrestling World Championship at OK Corral was spectacular. That was just one vote away from winning the wrestling, excuse me, the Beyond Wrestling Match of the Year. So congratulations to Becca Aaron Rourke, Dustin Waller, and Kylon King. But Marcus Mathers, it seemed on more than one occasion, had a chance to at least become champion, and it just, through bad luck, through his own volition, it just, that potential hasn't manifested with the title win yet. That's the big one that Marcus has yet to be able to gather, and he will do anything he can to get another opportunity. I simply do question if he is cursed in some fashion. Well, I don't know that I believe in that. Marcus Mathers wearing the wounds of war, scarred up back. Warhorse determined as ever to try and reinvigorate, re, excuse me, reinvigorate his career. Easy for me to say. Oh, and he's going to be looking to choke out Marcus Mathers here tonight. Great decision. Wear out the young man, but beautifully done to get out of that sleeper relatively quickly and a big shot to the face of Warhorse. Marcus Mathers had a big match against Matt Mikowski. He will see in a few minutes at American Rana this year coming up short against Matt Mikowski in one of his return matches as well. Marcus Mathers to the floor. Big drop kick from Warhorse. And Marcus, oh, he's hurting. Marcus Mathers down for quite some time. The question now, will Warhorse allow this count out to happen, or is he going to make his way to the outside? Based on his movements now, he's hoping for a count out victory over Marcus Mathers. And no one can blame him. This is a career on the line. This isn't, every match has validity, validity and importance, but this one's of a whole nother level for Warhorse. Right, and it's not Marcus Mathers' career that's on the line, but you wonder at some point if it becomes his reputation, if you keep choking every time you have a chance at the big one. Absolutely, people are gonna see you in that way and in that field. The man who can always get to the championship opportunity, but seems to never be able to win the big one. You don't want that to be your legacy. What do you think of this methodical approach from Warhorse? I think it backfired right there. Marcus Mathers trapped in the arm, couple elbows in the back of the head, but I, I'm telling you, this physique from Warhorse, he's so strong, an unusual but effective throw, and Marcus on the floor once again. This is a good strategy, stifling and slowing down the Unprodigy! Oh, shit! What an, wow! What an amazing dive! What an amazing dive by the Warhorse! That's the kind of desperation you're going to see from a man that may never wrestle ever again. We could be potentially seeing Warhorse's final match ever right before our very eyes, but he's not going to let it slip through the cracks of his fingers. If he wins by pinfall, submission, decision, count out, I don't know. Now he just, he just pulled Marcus Mathers' punk card. 
And right now, Marcus Mathers, I, I tell you from experience, that's not what you want to do with Marcus Mathers. You do not want to question his heart. You do not want to question his will. This is a determined young man, probably one of the most determined professional wrestlers in the, in, in, forget the Northeast, within the entire United States of America. Valid point. Hate to agree with you. And Marcus finds a way back into this contest. They say a broken clock is right twice a day, so you've been right maybe about nine times during the rest of them. Uh, I guess my clock works. The math is a little, you know, the math is... Well, it's been, four, it's, been, it's been three and a half days. Yeah, count. Yeah, it's, been a long, it's been a long weekend, okay? Oh, <laughs> shut him down. A long but very rewarding weekend, independent wrestling alive and well. Worcester, Massachusetts, the epicenter of the independent wrestling scene in the United States. Oh, big, Heavy hands from Marcus Mathers. Big, beautiful oh, shots. Knockout kick. Warhorse still on his feet, powering through. Got his jaw jacked. Great stun after that. Great kick to the chin, and he's not done yet. The German straight to the back of the head of Warhol. You know, Warhorse came up short in a three-way at C4 just about a month ago. Marcus Mathers has beaten Warhorse recently. Marcus knows how to do it, and this is a display. Beautiful crossbody block. About as exciting as they come. Thank you to the fans staying with us. We've still got two more big matches to come. Beyond Wrestling Signature, fans bring the weapons match at midnight. Taking a page out of Brian Malonis' playbook. And you know it was Brian Malonis that stopped Marcus Mathers from beating Alec Price for the Independent Wrestling World title at Wrestling Open. Back in September, Malonis was able to get a match with Alec Price. He came up short. Marcus had to wait a little bit longer. That eats away at the young prodigy. It's his time. He wants it now. Individual, and some people would say he still has time. He still has time. No, he wants it. He wants it now. I mean, let's face it. Nobody's going to be involved in this forever unless they come up with, uh, I don't know, some sort of fountain of youth thing. So you got to make the most of your time as a professional athlete. Marcus Mathers, well ahead of the game. I think uh, old warhorse, pun intended, passing that 30-year mark. It gives you a new perspective on life. Whether you're 30 years in or 30 months in, you have to care about this business heavily to make it to this stage. What a neat out of the head. He's crushed. Great kick out by Marcus Mathers. And I tell you, that knee on the top of the head during that cover after the execution of a knee strike, that makes it very difficult to rise up from that because it's painful to kick out with the knee leaning on your temple. The scowl has not left the face of Warhorse. He knows what he's gonna do. And if you can get through Marcus Mathers, you think you're gonna best Alec Price or Cruel? Listen, they can't focus on that future now. They have to focus on the, the fight that's in front of them. And honestly, Marcus seems to be struggling to find a way to solve the problem that is Warhorse. Just wanna let fans know too, obviously the brutal no rope barbed wire match earlier tonight. Both competitors being stitched up. Seemed to be, I don't know, as healthy as you could be coming out of a match like that. Thankfully, no serious injuries. Uh, lots and lots of lacerations, lots of blood spill, lots of hydration needed. But both expected to make a full recovery at some point. Ricky Shane Page didn't want to see that side of him. And we may have a serious injury, a broken neck to Warhorse. He's powering through it. He might have just broken the jaw of Marcus Mathers. What an exchange. Two men that might be broken in body, but definitely not broken in will. The strength of will, of body, of determination, and of technique. Marcus Mathers and the Warhorse. Oh, they are both fighting for their lives. Both Warhorse, Marcus Mathers struggling to answer the count of Scott Robinson. Warhorse seemingly going to be the first one to get up, immediately grabs at the tights of Marcus Mathers, looking for, looking for any ability to find victory against the young man. Marcus lowering his sense of gra gravity, not allowing the waist slot to take full effect. Two back elbows to the neck of Warhorse. Both competitors with their fair share of fans here. Way to go, Worcester, Massachusetts, New Year's Eve. High German suplex right on the back of his head. A little bit of payback for that inverted Hurricane Rana. And Marcus is still grabbing the back of his head. He can't even defend himself. 
now just finally starting to stir. He's in a bad way. That was a stop to that nap. Oh Couldn't get God. out of the way. It's over. Warhorse sticks around. No! Marcus with the kick out. Marcus Mathers was so close to defeating Alec Price to become the Independent Wrestling World Champion. Perhaps in his mind, all he needs is one more shot. But what would a title match between Marcus Mathers and Cruel be like? It would definitely be devastating to say the very least. The question is, can he even get there? Warhorse not letting it happen! Wow, from the heavens! Beautiful! Right on target! That's how you're doing, Marcus. Sticking up his ass. Showing who's the fan right now. Marcus. Heading into 2024. Marcus Wipe him out. Up like Lazarus and send a Larius from south to north. Send the Warhorse to the glue factory. Oh, yeah. Big Show Warhorse is down in the upper He is hot. I think we're about to see a new independent wrestling number one contender. His name is Marcus Mathers. Looking for that 450. He took his eyes off his opponent. Oh, no. A split second mistake. That's going to be the decision that really messes up Marcus. And he bounced so hard off of that turn, but he ended up right back on his feet on the top. I mean, you know, it's, it's one thing to let that moment sink in. He's going to know by now the fans love him. Focus on your opponent. Don't worry about making moments for the fans. And as I mentioned at OK Corral, that's the youth of the young prodigy. It doesn't pop up often, but there it did. What is going on here? Oh my god! What a cutter! Oh, Marcus, you should have went for the pin. What are you doing? I think we know what he's thinking. That's quite the gap that he's going to clear. Can he make no that? No way! 450 wow. with Marcus Mathers! The war horse refuses to be taken down. He refuses to give up. He refuses to be defeated. There you hear Marcus Mathers trying to stifle the chance from the crowd, trying to rally war horse. Marcus Mathers, this is no longer about talent. This is no longer about a performance. This is a battle of wills. Another shot to Warhorse. Both of these men on spaghetti legs. Oh. And Marcus Mather stands right back up. Big shots to Warhorse. Short arm lariat. Marcus isn't finished yet. Just unrelenting. It don't stop. Smothering his opponent. He's just beating down onto the best of his ability. Marcus Mathers. Has full wrist control, pulling Warhorse up. Another Lariat, no! Warhorse Sayato! Oh! Such a bad landing, such a high angle to come crashing down, all your body compressed. Probably the sixth time Marcus took a bad landing like that, and now Lariat's both men still up though. What a match, what a show, what a year! Another big Lariat by both men. Oh, what a counter from Marcus Mathers. No! Warhorse on top of him. Warhorse about to get a fantastic summit. Oh, he's got a fully locked in. Choking him out with his own wrist, with his own forearm. Marcus is fading fast. Trying to break the grip. Trying to break the grip any way he can. Scratching and clawing, but Warhorse has it deep. Uh-oh, his eyes are starting to roll in the back of his head. Marcus might be, he might be done. I don't know if Marcus can. Oh, he's out, he's out. Ring the bell, that's it. Wow. The war horse will ride again. Well, brother, in this instance, you can't say that Marcus Mathers choked. He got choked out. In this moment here, Marcus, he can't help but feel for the young man to some degree. He's not my favorite person on the planet, but 
he definitely gave his all in this contest. This just wasn't his day. The new number one contender, the question remains, who will he go on to face? Alec Price or Cruel? We will decide that tonight's fans bring the weapons match at midnight, the first match of 2024. But before we get to that, a lot of bad blood between the two mats, Matt Mikowski and Matt Prima, a first ever singles contest. And Matt Mikowski has won his last 20 matches here in Beyond Wrestling. It's gonna be a streak that's hard to break and hard to end for Matt Prima. Oh, he has the top. One. 